Hey, what's up guys? This is Two Awesome Men, and it is the month of February, which is the month for Oscars. Yeah, and we're going to do our best to see all nine movies that were nominated for Best Picture this year. It's not a guarantee that we'll be able to see all nine, but we're going to do our best. And also, we've already seen La La Land, and we reviewed it uh, as well. If you want to, you can go ahead and uh, click on the link down at the bottom for our La Land review to try to check that out. And so that's our first of our many. There was nine movies nominated this year, so we got eight more to go. And here is our second one. Alright, also just so y'all know, I am feeling a little sick today, so if my voice is kind of weird, that's why. But anyways, here is our review over Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures is directed by Theodore Melfi. And it has a total of three Oscar nominations. For this review, I want to go ahead and start with our good things that we have about this movie. Uh, and the probably the strongest thing about this entire movie, I would say, is the acting. I'm not going to say that it was like over the top well acting, but the acting was strong enough to say that throughout the entire movie I didn't have a, fl a flaw with it. Yeah, there's some really well done monologues in this movie. Especially, there was one by Taraji P. Henson I right. really loved in this movie. Uh, yeah, uh, her, yes, she had a one and Janelle Monet had a pretty good one towards the middle of the movie that I, I feel like were staying out. Octavia Spencer, she did pretty good and then Janelle Monet, she did really well also. Um, and you, know, you also have Kevin Costner, which, you know, obviously, he's always going to do good. You know, and his, so his acting is good. So that, that was probably one of the strongest things about this movie was the acting. The storyline was pretty good, too, but it's also a true story. And I know they changed some things, but it was pretty good as well. Those are probably our highest points. That's probably my highest points for this entire yeah, movie. Yeah, that's definitely mine. Because in all honesty, if I'm, being, if I'm going to say this, and I, don't, I really don't think this movie should have been nominated for an Oscar. I didn't think it was a bad movie by any standard. I just didn't feel like there's, there wasn't anything in this movie that I would say, wow, that's why it was nominated for an Oscar. Mm -hmm. There were, yeah, like I said, there's maybe like a few good monologues, but you know, that's, that's not a good reason to nominate a movie uh, for an Oscar. This movie did have quite a bit of weak spots in it. And, you know, um, and one of my biggest complaints, my biggest complaint for this whole movie is it had a really big like sense of cheesiness to it throughout the entire movie from beginning to end. There was something about the the acting. The acting wasn't bad. There was just something about it that was really cheesy. Yeah, and I think it had to do with a lot of, with the dialogue in it. Um, I don't, I can't really put my finger on what exactly it was because the writing wasn't like horrible. It just had a sense of cheesiness and the way they edited it and they used some of the music. Yeah, the music was a really big weak spot to me as well. Mm -hmm. And I felt like that also portrayed, that also went into why this movie was also pretty cheesy. One other big thing about this is, I mean, the story was good. You know, it's about uh, Catherine G. Johnson, an African-American woman, back a while ago whenever they were trying to get America out into space. Right. And so you have three African-American girls who are just looked down upon over and over again every day of their lives, you know, but are actually really smart. So it portrays this story really well, but, you know, one big flaw about the story to me was Catherine G. Johnson. She had this uh, love interest. Oh, yeah. And I'm not gonna say he was he was he was a fine actor, but it, they they had this weird little love connection that never it, that kind of really was really quick. It was way too quick for me. Because I know her her love life is an important part of her story, but every time they had scenes with where they try to play it up, it just felt sort of out of place and rushed. Yeah, it, it didn't really uh, give me an importance for it. I didn't right. really care for the love scene, the love interest, because they didn't really give me a reason to care about it. Right. Even though we said that we uh, felt that the, all the acting was pretty decent, there was one that I, one actor who I felt was a little sort of the weak point, and that was Jim Parsons. I honestly feel that he wasn't as strong with his acting as the other actors mm -hmm. in this movie. Yeah, I really do feel like he was just plainly miscast, not, e not even compared to the other actresses, just like he was just totally miscast. Well, you know, overall, I I truly didn't love this movie, but I, I thought it was okay. I can't really ever see myself watching this movie again unless someone like comes ask me to go watch it. But other than that, I would still recommend something else over it. But uh, it wasn't an awful movie. I just didn't like it that much. So overall, I'm just gonna go ahead and give Hidden Figures a B. I don't think it's an awful movie by any standards, but I just feel that some of the dialogue wasn't strong enough. It had a cheesiness feeling throughout the entire movie. 
So I'm going to give Hidden Figures a B-. minus. So guys, that is the end of our review for Hidden Figures. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please let us know in the comments below uh, what you thought about the movie, if you saw it. Uh, also let us know what you thought about this review. Also, don't forget to go in the description, like I said a while ago, and watch our review over La La Land. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all at Two Awesome Men. Mm -hmm. And also, um, our next movie that we're going to be putting up after this is Hell or High Water. And so I hope you all come back to watch that review as well. Anyways, like I said, it's the end of the review. And you will see us later.